Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here, back with another Timu haul. So Timu have sent me another little care package and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things I got because some of the things are quite unique and you may not have seen before. So it's coming up to Jessie's birthday in October, but I found a couple of little things on Timu that I think she would like. And I thought I'd share them with you guys as well because they're, you know, maybe something that you haven't thought about searching for or haven't seen on there before. So I'll show you some of the stuff I've picked out for Jessie first because uh, then I can put them away before she gets home and she won't see them and hopefully she won't see this vlog. I don't think she watches a lot of my vlogs unless she's in it, of course. And I'll show you a couple of things that I've bought for my kitchen that I've seen on there for a while and I thought, oh, should I, shouldn't I? But um, yeah, I thought I would check those out as well. So for any of you guys that still haven't heard what Timu is or who Timu is or why is everyone going on about Timu or if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my numerous Timu hauls Timu is basically an online marketplace where you can find absolutely everything they whatever you can think of I'm pretty sure it'll be on Timu whether it's fashion home decor electronic gadgets kitchen gadgets electronics shoes bags jewelry craft items toys gifts you name it whatever you can think of even to the mundane things like light bulbs screws um tools for the house laundry items whatever you t type in that search bar on timu it'll come up so i'll leave a link to the app down below it's just so easy to download the app and just have it there on your phone you have access to a bundle of coupons and everything as well so i'll leave all of those details down below if you were to buy it on amazon or any of those other websites you'd be paying about four or five times the price for the same item. their prices are really affordable and that is why i love shopping there definitely check out timu if you haven't already i love the app but anyway i thought let me get in and show you some of the stuff I got for Jessie first before she gets home and then I'll go in and show you some of the kitchen things I bought because I want to just rearrange my kitchen countertops a little bit and organize under the sink a little bit better so I'll show you when I go in there to do that so first item I bought Jessie were these cute little cow slippers because you guys know she works on a dairy farm and she loves getting her shower at night and putting a big oody on and getting all snuggly warm and i just thought these cow slippers would just be absolutely perfect now if you're looking for slippers for people like slippers are a great little gift idea to throw in even as stocking stuffers or just as a gift in itself and if you type in, like say if your person's into dog, type in dog slippers. So let's see what comes up. Um, if they like cats, type in cat slippers, see what comes up. So little novelty slippers will be a great gift idea, especially now coming up to Christmas uh, for those people that you just don't know what to get them. But I mean, how freaking cute are they? I love those, so adorable. So that's the first item I got. Next thing I got for Jessie was, and I never even thought to look for this. It just actually came up in a suggested, you know, you might like this kind of thing. And it is a Lego set to build a camera. Now, if you know Jessie, she loves collecting vintage cameras and she loves lego so i just thought how perfect is that a actual lego set to build a vintage looking camera and they had all different styles of cameras as well so again lego sets you know it's not branded lego but it's you know it's the same thing without the big lego price tag uh, so again if you have someone who is interested in trains and they like building lego just type in lego train or well let's do it we'll type in lego and we'll see what comes up and you can see all the different kits that come up for a fraction of the price of what you pay uh, on amazon or any other online store so 
definitely love that one so i got her that those were the two gift items i got for jesse now a couple of other little gift items that um not necessarily for jesse but would make a good gift as well so we got this little package here and it's all nicely wrapped this one i actually got for halloween just as a little bit of halloween decor because i thought it was so cute but have a look at that how freaking cute a little halloween uh black cat with some bat wings and a little gothic style necklace and i just thought that would be cute just to add to my halloween decor and they had like a th i think three or four different models of these as well so if you wanted to get like the whole set there's a, a few different other ones you can get if you're shopping for halloween at the moment just type in the search bar halloween and all your decor and whatever you can think of to do with Halloween will come up on Timu. It is amazing. Um, I've really had to stop myself because I've just culled all of my Christmas decor, Easter decor, Halloween decor and all of that. I've really culled it down and I don't want to build it back up again. But <laughs> I saw that and I just could not resist. So yeah, I'm really happy with that one. That is super cute. So again, yeah, if you're looking for Halloween stuff, check out Timu, 100%. The next item, again, another little package box. This one I actually got for myself, uh, for my makeup brushes. It, as it is a little um, makeup brush organizer. So it's nice, it's white, it's got little gold legs, but it's a spinny one. How perfect is that? It's a great size. It's going to fit on my uh, vanity perfectly. And I can just organize all of my makeup brushes in there as well. So I really, really love that. And again, the price will be down below. I've been wanting this for actually quite a while. And I've ordered it a couple of times, but then it's been out of stock. So yeah, super happy to finally receive that. Um, and again, they've got a, a multitude of different style options, color options, whatever you want. Very happy with that one. Next, I got for my craft room. Now, this would be perfect not only for a crafter, but also for um, if you've got little toddlers that like painting and um, doing different arts and crafts. Just grab it out of the package. I've got a nice pink one. So this is actually a silicon painting mat. So it looks like that. You've got a little silicon water cup that sits in this little section here. So you, you know, you've know you got water for your paints. This is like a little brush holder section. So you can stick your brushes in there when you're not using them. Or you could either put the paints directly in these or use these as little mixing palettes. And yeah, it's just a silicon mat to protect your desk or table when you're doing any painting or you know any sort of art and craft it's got a little ruler measuring ruler on the side there which is handy so yeah i got this for me for when i start doing my journaling and crafting just to not mess up my desk it's a decent size as well i'd say it's a probably about an a3 size roughly i thought that was really cool next i picked up one of these so it's a little 3D model kit that you build yourself and I actually bought it to go uh, in one of my little dome cloches that I've got on my uh, shelves above my computer in the main living area. So it's a whole kit that you have, have to actually create yourself. It comes with everything you need to create it. So here we've got the instruction book. So that's, that's the little... Um, model that i chose it's the uh time magic it's like a little magic shop almost like a harry potter themed kind of shop oh there's my dog <laughs> and it's got a very detailed and colored uh instruction book on how to make every item every step of the way step by step instructions which is brilliant that is really really good it's all in english so it's easy to read so yeah can't go wrong with that so you get in that you've got your little cutter and some tweezers 
you've got a little lithium battery because I think there's a little light up portion of this as well. So you've got all your wooden pieces in this little packet as well as your wiring and lights for the light up feature. And then at the back of the instruction book, so at the back here are all your little cutouts that you're going to need for the decorations. So you're going to need to use those to cut them out and fold them to create the little decorations that are inside. So super keen to put that one together and I'll probably put that together over the weekend actually. Hopefully it won't take me too long and I might even film me doing some of it. Oh, and the most the main part <laughs> I think this is actually the dome that it that it sits in but I'm not sure if I'll use this actual dome that it comes with or whether I'll put it in my own little cloche so let's just have a look what this one looks like just carefully opening it so as not to break it ah yeah so there's the little dome that it's going to sit in it's going to be super cute a little bit smaller than I expected but it'll be perfect because the cloche that I've got is not much bigger than this anyway so yeah I am super keen to make that and and see what it looks like so again another great gift idea you know for, for those people that you just oh what do I get what do I get you've got like different options there as well like a whole heap of different options and if you search on Timu for like 3d models or 3d miniature how you'll see so many different ones come up I think I've ordered another one as well like a magic bookshop almost like a Harry Potter style bookshop just to sort of display on my back shelves here so um, yeah I'll definitely show you guys when that comes in but yeah super happy to get that love that now for a couple of the kitchen items first thing I got a little bit boring but actually quite genius and hopefully if they work um, I'll be very impressed, but I got a set of these. So these are a black silicon mat. They're not silicon, are they silicon? No, not silicon, like a Teflon-y kind of mat, but they're actually oven liners. You can, well, you can use them to line the bottom of your oven. You can even use them um, as a non-stick uh, tray to bake cookies on or pizza or anything like that as well but I plan to use these at the bottom of my oven now at the time of like you can order different sizes at the time of ordering I don't think I realized that <laughs> so I just picked the one that was on the website so this was a pack of two smaller start like smaller sized ones but I think both of those together will fit perfectly at the bottom of my oven so I'm going to be giving my oven a decent, you know, it's yearly decent clean today and I'll try them at the bottom of my oven and see how they go because then they're, they're washable. They're reusable, they're washable, you can just throw them in your dishwasher. Yeah, I just thought that would be great because at the moment I just use like a really heavy duty foil that just gets thrown away. I mean, I know I'm only really doing it once a year so it's not a lot of waste but you know at the end of the day like I'm using up that foil that just gets thrown away whereas if I've got these and I can just wash them and th this might even be like I can probably keep my oven even cleaner because I can just once they get a bit dirty just pull them out throw them in the dishwasher and then put them back in more than once a year you know what I mean so it might encourage me to keep my oven a little bit cleaner so I'm going to try these out and see how they go. Super affordable. But yeah, you can cook directly on them. They're food safe and all of that sort of thing as well. So very keen to try those. Next, I picked up the, an under the sink organizer. So um, it's got a pull out drawer at the bottom and then a shelf on the top here with some hooks and it's too layered but I thought I would try this out in my under the sink just to create a bit more space in there but yeah again super affordable especially if you've got like a small you know you've got small spaces and you need to sort of go a little bit more vertical with your organization this might be perfect because it's quite slimline as well like it's not too bulky so yeah very keen to try that one out and last but not least this one I was actually 
a little bit <laughs> more excited about than I probably should be. But I bought the silicon utensil set and the color I just absolutely love. Now, I'm not one to buy a lot of kitchen gadgets and kitchen decor and have a million kitchen utensils and things like that. So I plan to replace the black silicon ones that we've currently got with this set. So I'm not really adding to my set, I'm just replacing the ones I've got. But how pretty is this color? On the website, this is classed as khaki, the color. But as you can see, it's a beautiful creamy beige color. It comes with its own little tin. So the tin's got a little motif on there. You can have it obviously displayed with the motif or just turn it round so that it's plain. It comes with a multitude of utensils in here all color coordinated and matching which i absolutely love you've got a little flipper and a pasta grabber we've got a basting brush and a spoon we have a spatula and a slotted spoon we have a another little flat kind of spoon and then another slotted spatula We've got a little soup spoon. Now this is on the smaller side, but it would still do the job. And then we've got a whisk and some tongs. So how beautiful are they? And again, I will put the price down below, but even that would make a beautiful gift, like a housewarming gift, um, engagement gift. You know, who doesn't like an aesthetic set of utensils? Just don't use them with spaghetti sauce or curries or anything like that, because I don't know if they would stain. But um, yeah, love those. So, so yeah, that is everything I got from Timu. Again, thank you Timu for sponsoring this part of the video and sending me these lovely items to try out. I am super excited about them. So let's head over into the kitchen now. We'll do a quick little organize and decorate and put all of these things in place and um, I'll let you know how it works out. So here is my oven guys. You're not gonna believe how clean this oven is. Well look clean for us <laughs> um the glass still need i actually need to work out how to take the glass off because we've actually got i don't know if you can see it but there's actually like crumbs and you know a bit of gunk in between um but the glass itself is clean and if you can see in the oven i've still got to put all the racks in how clean is that i am so happy so i'm going to put the liners in now and um yeah, we'll see how they work. These are the liners. I think I'm just gonna roll them, roll them back the other way just to flatten them out. I probably should have had them laying flat <laughs> for the rest of the day so that they could be laying flat, but it should be fine. So they fit perfectly that way. Yeah, I think they're gonna be good. Have a look at that, much easier than trying to bloody cut a sheet of foil out that's going to fit that exact spot. You would not believe how long I used to spend <laughs> trying to cut this foil out and slide it in and fit it to the exact um, size. So they're going to be perfect. So slot them in. Love the way that looks. Very neat. What I am going to look to see if Timu has um, new rubber lining as well. They may have that. We're in desperate need of a new rubber lining for this oven. So I'm actually going to have a look on Timu to see if they've got one of those as well. So I've just cut my foil for my drip tray. I suppose we could even use this tray as a cooking tray, but we never really do. We just have it sort of sat on the bottom there. And then I have my, look how shiny and clean everything is. I love it when the oven's clean. We just sort of have that sitting on there. So we only really need use that as like a, a shelf and then that as a shelf so yeah i love those liners they are really really good and i think they're going to be much easier than um using foil that you just have to chuck away so I definitely recommend those so i've got my new utensils from timu which i love i love my bamboo ones as well so i'm definitely not getting rid of those but all of these black ones because they're not really None of them are matching. Okay. 
So I know it's only like a subtle change, but I actually quite like that a little bit better. So I've just got all of my potatoes, onions and garlic in this corner. Um, and I've got a couple of chopping boards there as well. Oh, my stove is so clean. It's before dinner, so it won't stay that way for very long. Uh, and then in this corner, I've put all of my utensils and my new Timu utensil kit there. I just think they make a really nice gift, especially even like a housewarming gift or something like that as well. Yeah, love that. And you can even get a red set for Christmas, like you can put out all the red ones for Christmas. So we're going to put together this little shelving unit now. Hopefully it will fit under my set. Very easy put together. So that's the front. Rods. So assembly, super easy. That's all there is to it. And we also get a little, um, little container. I guess you could hook wherever, wherever you want. Sit that on there. And now we'll see if it all fits in the cupboard. Not that this is not really organized, but I just wanted to try out that under the sink um, storage. And yeah, just see if I can organize this a little bit better using that. Okay, well, I've just spent about 15 minutes reorganizing this and I am absolutely amazed at how much it fits and how well it organizes everything. I'm actually 100% going to buy another one to put on this side of the sink because I think all of this stuff in the baskets will fit on that side and yeah it's amazing actually how much fits on this thing so I've got all of my backup <laughs> dishwashing liquids there as well as my uh, dishwasher tablets rinse aid um, some steel wool in the box some pink stuff so I've cut up my little steel wool pads and put them in this um, little basket to attach onto the side. Haven't got anything really specifically to attach to those hooks yet, so I'm just leaving them as is. And then we've got the slide out drawer here, which fits an amazing amount of stuff. So I've got one, two, three, four, five full size spray bottles, plus four, um, uh, what do you call them? Sort of sleeker lined bottles down the side there as well. So yeah, it fits heaps. And I mean, you could put them the other way if you wanted to as well. You could sit them like that way. Um, but yeah, for me, just works like that. Slides in and out really easy. Um, yeah, I love that. That is amazing. I was a bit iffy whether it was gonna fit under my sink, but as you can see, it just fits absolutely perfectly. And then if I get another one for this side, it is the same clearance. Um, on that side of the sink so yeah I'm going to get another one to store all of the fly spray bottles and paper towels and you know basically all the rest of that stuff on that side and then I'll have a whole big open space in the middle really so yeah love that that is amazing I actually in all honesty I didn't have high hopes for this one. I just thought, oh, it's gonna be flimsy. It's not gonna fit as much as I thought. I didn't think it'd be that strong, but I mean, yeah, I've got that thing loaded and it works really well. So highly recommend that one. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna actually purchase one, um, another one myself. So yeah, love that. Really, really love that, highly recommend.